Okay, so here I'm gonna show you how to read uh, Android sensor into MATLAB. So first, first thing that you need to do is you have to connect your PC with your with your phone, of course. And I'm going to do that by attaching my Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi from my laptop. And I'm gonna turn on the Wi-Fi. see this well but here okay okay now you can see that my phone is already connected in the same LAN so to test that it's really connected I'm gonna just write turn on the command prompt you know you can do this by pressing Windows R and then typing CMD. I don't know if you can see this well. Oh, shit. Just gonna ping my phone's IP. Wait, let me check. We have to check our phone's IP first. You can do that from Wi Fi and then Wi Fi and then you can see it from. There and that's it. My phone's IP address is. Oh, I can't focus this. One nine two. There, that's it. I'm gonna take that. So, one nine two. Dot. One six eight. Dot. Sixteen. Dot. Three. And. see that I got a reply from my phone that means that we are correctly connected and that's good for now and let's start the MATLAB while we are starting with the MATLAB let's run the sensor UDP program by Takahashi or something and here we go and you see I have to put in my I have to put in my my PC's IP to here, so I'm just gonna type it my PC IP. But uh, if you can, you can easily check your PC IP in your LAN by you know turning on the local area network, open network and sharing center, and then just choose this details, and then here you go, your IP address there. Okay, so I'm gonna type that into this. And I'm gonna use the same port there, so here we go. And then I'm just gonna send just the orientation line. Okay, here we go, it's already started sending. And yeah, I think that's all. Okay. Okay. Yep, so back to the MATLAB. Here uh, you can show you can you can get the code, the simple code using UDP that I use. It's in my blog. You can just copy it and paste it to your text editor in MATLAB. I'm just gonna run it. See here. I'm stating that I'm gonna be receiving data from my phone which is you know the IP of my phone and the local port the UDP port that I'm that I'm using to communicate the sensors data so there is and if I hit run but that's not the right code okay, this is the right code yeah so yeah I see the same IP same UDP then if I hit run oh, sorry about that and 
Let me try that again. Yeah, it's not working. Ah, okay, there's something that I forgot. Uh, since this windows and this is annoying, you have to turn off the firewall first. Yeah, so I kind of hate it because I have to turn it on back when I connect it to the internet. So I'm just gonna turn off my firewall. Here it goes. That's it. And then, where's the OK button? Oh, there it is. It's hard to see from the phone. Okay, there we go. Firewall turned off. Close this and here. See, I'm gonna just stop that to reshow you. There you go. I'm just gonna let's clean the control panel here. And okay, I'm just gonna run it one more time. And there you see, uh, MATLAB received something. It's like the O is like Takashi. Takashi used this to identify that the data is the orientation data. First and the second value is like the time or something, it keeps going up. And the third, the third, fourth, and fifth value is the, ah, sorry, the fourth, fifth, and the sixth value is the orientation itself. So if you can see here, if I, let me get my phone. Yep. I don't know if you can see it well, but you see here, if I move my phone that way. See the the six, the six value changes every time I turn this on, tilt this. See, okay, like that. Okay, I think I'm gonna show you just the better part. So I have this other code too that will that will visualize the angle in bar plot. So it's gonna be easier to read, to see. I mean. So basically, it's the same code here. I'm just gonna enlarge it. So basically, this is the same code, but instead of just plotting it into the, instead of just plotting it into the command into the command window, I'm also plotting it into a graph. So here it is, and I'm just gonna show you here. Let's see again, if you can see this. Okay, it's just my phone. If I tell this, the one axis go up. Okay, and if I turn this way. See the others going up. See, so that's the first axis of rotation. So if, every time I turn this, it goes. Okay, and the second is this. See whether I if I do this. Yep, yep. Okay, yeah, like that. And the second is. Yep. See. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's kind of hard to if you just wanna tell it in one axis. So. Yep, basically. Yep, okay. Just there. You see the, the third axis, the third data is the, the tilt axis. Well, yep. So basically, you can just like this is just the orientation. You can you can also get the accelerometer, it's the, the accelerometer data. It's the same thing, it's really just the same thing, but just different. You have to like shake your phone instead of tilting it. So this is easier to to sh to show you how it works. So I'm just gonna sh tilt it all over again and see. And this is like the easiest, you know. See, so yeah, turn it, turn it. It's hard to to tilt it in one hand, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's the end of it. I hope you can understand and maybe yes, this, you know. Oops use this to you know make use it for something I don't know okay see you